Hello lovelies, today I'm going to be showing you how to make boho braids using Brazilian wool. Yes, you can rock this hairstyle with Brazilian wool and slay on a budget. If this is something that interests you, why not stick around and just keep on watching. Welcome lovely. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this with your Brazilian wool and make the coils last longer. You know, this boho braids, most people actually use women hair and we're all off for slaying on a budget. This is more like a DIY. It's something I feel like you guys should actually, you know, see because the coils tend to last longer. And when you notice that the coils is a bit frizzy, you just add a bit of conditioner and it will bounce back as though it's human hair. Yes trust me it will definitely bounce back you're gonna be seeing that experiment towards the end of the video so lovelies just keep on watching and do not miss out any details that i'll be listing out in this video make sure you watch this video to the very end and let me know what you think about this video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed
regular brazilian wool because we're all about slaying on a budget so you just want to bring out the size of the crochet that you want if you want it bigger or smaller so this is what i am working with and i'm going to stretch this out so i can have you know those tips at the ends of the new year's eve 300 miles counting down next year will be close i will wait as long as it's for you
stood out cause you were in red Man, against my intentions I let you turn me violent instead Summer high, met you in August New York back to my cold apartment Distance sucks but at least I'm still with you to my channel today i'm gonna to be showing you how to make these ring logs from start to finish and guess what lovelies i used brazilian wool to making this from scratch so i know this is something that you like to see so don't go anywhere and before we move on i'm gonna be showing you how to make this drawstring by yourself from the comfort of your home so this is the drawstring that i made like it's so hard to believe right don't worry i'll be showing you how to make this by yourself so just keep on watching lovely so this is the items that you'll be needing you'll be needing your drawstring you'll be needing the stopper just one stopper is enough and then you'll be needing this um hard net this is a hard net that you can get from any fabric store obviously a black color and you'll be needing this wick home so let's move on to how to sew this from your by yourself so i'm using my sewing machine to sew this so first you need to fold the um, net into two this is so that we can get the midpoints where we'll be passing the drawstring inside so now i'm using my tail comb to just you know see, make that hole right there you know 
facing the left and the right side so now i'm going to just you know put in my drawstring from one part of the hole and then i would start sewing like so so this is it lovely so when i get to that end i'm gonna fold and then i'm just gonna keep sewing like so very very simple guys this is something you can do yes you can do this and of course i have this items available just in case you're finding it very hard to get so if you want to purchase this just chat me up on my instagram miss sandy underscore and trust me i will get this direct to you obviously for a fee but trust me it's something that is very affordable compared to when you're buying the drawstring from the market so lovelies we're gonna go by the stitch one more time just to make sure that i have a very very secured secured sewing and very good finish so when you're done with that i'm gonna you know make that equal and then i'll pass in my stopper there are two holes so i'm obviously gonna pass one side to the other side left and right and then i'm gonna secure the knot like so so this is how it is looking like but that is not done that's not all we are gonna be using the scissors to just you know trim out the um the parts that the um, net is coming out so just so that we can have a very very clean finish so lovelies after you're done with this i'm gonna be putting in my wig comb and that is just very that is just all that you need to do about this drawstring simple right i know you're enjoying this video so can you give this video a huge thumbs up so my video gets to some people that will be needing this tutorial so lovelies this is how to attach the wig comb i'm sure you must must have been wondering how this is done this is the process on how to attach the wig comb so i'm just gonna go buy this one more time just so that i can have a very secure comb you get so i'm doing the same for the other side like so and that is just it lovelies very very easy so now that you have an idea on how to make drawstring from the comfort of your home let's move on to this tutorial so now i'm gonna place my drawstring properly on the mannequin like so and obviously secure the four edges like so and um i'm gonna be taking my brazilian wool now i got a comment from my previous video that i did a brazilian distress log and somebody was like saying that this brazilian video is actually nice just you know when you see them on um on youtube but you can't really get the same results outside of youtube that is not right seriously if you watch the videos very well trust me you will get it exactly as i am showing you on this so just follow the process make sure you watch it and you can see that it's even brazilian wood that i'm using so why the doubts so lovely just watch this video properly so that you can see like this is brazilian wood there's no other kind of extension this is brazilian wood so take note of that okay so the first thing you need to do i'm just you know crocheting this brazilian wood that is 12 inches on fold and then you just secure like so make your knots like that so um after you're done crocheting all of the parts i actually prefer to crochet a little before i start wrapping and doing my ring locks i would not like to just you know crochet all of them because i don't want the brazilian wood to get in the way when i'm wrapping so i'm just going to crochet one part wrap and then before i move to the next so we're just going to take it out in sections like this and then i'm gonna take another longer piece of brazilian wool for wrapping there's no actual um inches for this longer one because you're gonna be doing a whole lot of wrapping so just use your discretion to actually get the um the length that you want to use for the wrapping and obviously when it's when you're done with the one for when you're done with the actual length that you cut out if once it is finished you're obviously gonna add another one for wrapping so this is just how you'll be doing it now there are two methods for this ring locks bone so just watch it carefully make sure you watch it to the end so that i don't miss out the second method i actually prefer the second method because it's quite easy now this first method when i'm done wrapping it then i took out um I took out a shorter length to just secure it this is just in case i want to you know let this go and then bring out another section but you cannot just leave it like that obviously so you have to secure it first so you just pass it to the next one taking the short one to you know place to the um, second crochet 
and then you just continue wrapping like that that is just it so just keep on watching so that you can see how i was able to you know um end these locks like when i was done you know wrapping and doing all the ring locks you will see how i was able to get that clean finish because this is something that you is very crucial that you know how to do that part so lovely just keep on watching
So for the second method, you don't need to secure it by creating a knot. You don't need to do that at all. So all you need to do is just continue wrapping, like take the next crochet and continue wrapping like that. You do not need to secure it. That is very, that is just the second method. That is all that there is to the second method. So it's not like you're going to take out, um, when you get to the end, you're going to like secure the knot. No, you just take the next crochet and you just keep on wrapping like that. Then when you're done, when the one for wrapping is obviously finished, then you can actually just, you know, secure it and then take another Brazilian wool extension to continue wrapping. So I'm just going to go over this one more time so that you guys can actually understand it properly. As we close out the night underneath the lilac sky Summer high, met you in August New York back to my cold apartment Distance sucks but at least I'm still with you Now to end this, like when I'm done with all my ring locks, I'm going to place my crochet spin inside and then I will take the longer one, that's the longer um, Brazilian extension and then just come out like that, like so. And then I'm just going to tie that, like create a knot, I'm just going to tie it just to end the locks because I'm already done with this um, ring locks one. And then when I'm done tying it, I'm going to cut it out. You know and then i'm gonna take um, this lighter to just you know make that like seal the knot like so and that is just it very very easy and then you obviously have a very clean finish so this is how to do it lovelies this is just all that there is to this ring blocks so don't go anywhere so that i can see how i was able to install this to my hair and obviously you see the end result this is very very beautiful so just keep on watching lovelies Against my intentions, I let you turn me violet instead. Summer high, met you in August. New York, back to my cold apartment. Distance sucks, but at least I'm still with you. White out skies, middle November. You and I, flights to wherever. I don't mind as long as it's with you. As long as it's with you. The amazing part about this ring lock spawn is that if you want it bigger like you want the lock to be fuller you can actually do that so yeah i decided not to apply any makeup to my eye because i was already tired like i wanted to just have a you know a rest on that so this is how to just place that on your hair like i'm actually putting the um the, the combs from on the left and on the right instead of up and down because i wanted this to be wider on the end like that so now I'm just going to secure the um, stopper inside and then I'm going to wrap the drawstring and then just tuck that in, you know, just to hide the ropes and all of that. I'm sure you already know how to, you know, attach a drawstring. So lovely, this is how it is looking like. This is very amazing, especially for those natural hair lovers. And this can actually pass for a bridal quick fix. Like, trust me, if it's fuller and if the, if the ring locks is tiny, it can actually pass for that. 
so lovelies let me know what you think about this video from start to finish do make sure to give me a huge thumbs up because this helped my video a lot and i'll be back to give you all more and more diys and also different types of ring locks and i'm sure you want to see that so stay glued to my channel and don't go anywhere give it a huge thumbs up give this video a huge thumbs up and i'll see you all in my next video until then bye lovelies
channel and I'm super excited about today's video because this is something that I figured out and I felt okay I should just share it all with you all so yeah this is the Brazilian wool and as you all know this is wool hair for attachment braids it's also a Brazilian wool it's actually new in case you don't know about it it comes in three in a pack and is from hello beauty so this is basically what i am doing i just took out 16 inches on fold and then i'm just taking out in sections there was no point in me um you know cutting all of them and then start you know taking out like trying to have that feather um end point no i just took it out and you know making sure that it is already 16 inches on fold and then i'm just making use of my rubber band just to secure that the um, top part like that just to have a loop like that so lovelies guess what i didn't use hot water for this at all i use this coiling um iron for it like this it was really amazing the fact that i it didn't even burn or there was no you know sign of it looking as though it was synthetic was really amazing trust me you do not need to use hot water you don't need to use hot water at all just use this coiling iron and it will come out looking as great as mine was So I left this for about um, three minutes or less, depending on the temperature of your coiling iron. Make sure that it is not um, very high. Make sure the temperature is not high. Just medium heat is enough. And this came out looking as though it was French cause. Now I really do not have an idea what to use this to make. So I'm going to be leaving that for you guys to actually decide what would you like to see me use this to make do you want me to use it as to make um a crochet um braids with the coily ends or you want me to make wig with it let me know what you um what are your suggestions in the comment section so this is basically what i'm doing so i'm gonna do this one more time so that you guys can actually see how i did this so right after you use your rubber bands and just secure it to take your curling um tonga and you know just coil it like so and it will come out looking as great as the first one is just simple and easy like that and right after you're done coiling this if you want to detangle it it's just make sure you use your um oil serum i made use of olive oil for those that might be asking or wondering what oil i use for detangling i made it of use of olive oil and it came out really great so i'm just you know using this um this to just secure the coil so that it would you know look as great as it's looking now already as you can see how this coil is looking like like french coils trust me lovelies you can actually use this as a business you can coil this and sell it in loops like this or you can actually just braid it and leave the tips coiling it is really really amazing and it is mind-blowing the fact that brazilian wool is doing a whole lot is shocking like very shocking i really hope they would not increase the price of this because this texture is amazing like i have not seen anything like this it didn't even burn at all like i was really impressed with the whole thing i feel like probably they improved or they did one or two things to it so if you want to um, weave this and then leave the tip to be coily all you need to do is just take out the um rubber just like i did mine and make sure you apply a bit of olive oil i didn't apply it to the first one as you can see how it's looking like but not to worry even if you experience this like mine is just use your olive oil or you can recoil it you know that's just the amazing part about this extension you can still recoil it and it will come out looking as great as possible so this is me just braiding it so that you guys can see that you know the mind-blowing effect of this brazilian wool so you can just weave it and then leave the tips to be calling so just keep on watching now if you like what you're seeing already why haven't you given this video a huge thumbs up kindly do that now so that this video can get to a whole lot of people that might be needing tutorials as this and if you haven't subscribed to my channel why not subscribe and hit that notification bell so that when i post new videos you'll be alerted okay lovely so let's move on to this video 
so this is basically how to do it when you get to when you you've gotten to the required um, length that you want the weave and then the coils to be all you just need to is just secure the tips like that and that is just basically it so if you want this to come out very nice all you need to do is just to use your coiling iron to just you know coil that and it will come out looking great so i'm just going to do that for the second one and i also applied a bit of oil to it so that i wouldn't experience the same that i did in the first one so this is just basically it guys just keep on watching so that you can basically understand this Yeah, this is the olive oil that i use the thing i love about this olive oil is the fact that it has heat protector and thereby it prevents this extension from burning but that doesn't mean that you would not control the temperature when applying it to this um, extension it doesn't mean just make sure that your the heat is medium it's not high it is not low it is just on the average and it will just come out looking great so lovely this is just it you just take out you know the reason why I, I decided to use this loop is just so that I can have that um, equal um, amount of um, loop that I'm using. I want everything to look as uniform as possible. So that is the reason why I had to, you know, make this by myself. <laughs> what do you guys think about this creativity? I was really trying to figure out what to do. But anyways, this came out looking great. So lovely. So you can see that this last one that I did, I didn't have to use any coiling iron. It was look the coils was still on points. Look at see now. This is not editing. This is real lovely. So let me know what you think. What would you like to see this as? What do you want me to use this to make? Do you want me to make uh, a whole lot of crochets and then you want to see it on my hair? Or do you want me to uh, make a wig out of this? Let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. And thank you lovelies for watching up to this extent. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye lovelies.